Okay, this is the um, last submergent feature and this one's called a Dalmatian coastline. So it is what it says actually. So Dalmatian, I'm hoping you think of a Dalmatian dog. What's the characteristic of a Dalmatian dog? It has spots and that's exactly what happens here. So basically the spots that you get on this are islands. So this first diagram here is showing you in a glacial. So you've basically got, wherever it's dotted, the, the spots here, this is land. So you've got a bit of land here at the coastline. You've then got a little bit of higher land here. And you've then got another bit of higher land here at the coastline. So this would be the, this would be the sea. In between this area that's not got any dots on it would be valleys. So you've basically got higher land, valleys, higher land, higher land, and then the sea. So in a glacial, the sea level would be lower, wouldn't it? So then what comes along is, um, is an interglacial. So let me move to the other diagram. And what happens is, let me just pull out a little bit so you can see the change. So what happens is, this bit of land here stays the same and actually kind of becomes the, the main um, bit of coastline. And then what you've got off the coastline are lots of little islands. Now these islands are in fact the higher land. So whatever was really high here and here now still remains as land and becomes an island. And the valleys in between are flooded by the sea. Um, and this is this is the Dalmatian coastline because you get lots of little islands. Now the example on the PowerPoint is um, the Croatian coastline in the um, Adriatic. So there's some um, aerial pictures so you can see the islands on there. So just a kind of a bit of a recap then. Um, this is a submergent feature due to submergence. So it's the sea level rising. So that is going to be, let's pose the question to you lot again, isostatic or eustatic? I can almost hear you all chanting, yeah, it's eustatic.